What is up guys, it's Cody. I'm bringing you a Madden video for the first time in who knows how long. <laughs> um, I made a video a little while ago asking if you guys, my subscribers, um, still wanted old generation Madden content. And a couple people said yes, so I'm just going to pump out a few videos, um, some tips videos and such. Uh, it can't hurt anyone, right? <laughs> Might as well share this with you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, the concept I want to go over today is actually a very advanced pro tip that I've been using in my money game schemes for most of the duration of Madden 25. Um, I wanted to keep it under wraps um, when I was at the peak of making videos just because, one, it's a very original concept. Um, I haven't seen anyone but me doing this, um, so it's pretty close to my heart. <laughs> um, so I didn't really want to share it. And then also, um, like I said, it's a very advanced tip, and if um, someone I was playing against started using this, it'd be pretty hard to adjust to, so I just wanted to keep it mine for a little while. But with the Madden season coming to an end, uh, I just figured I might as well share it. Um, so basically the concept is it's going to be a halfback slip screen, but instead of throwing to the halfback, you're going to be throwing to a wide receiver on the outside who is hot routed to a smoke screen. Um, and you're going to want to pick a formation where there's a receiver on the outside to the side that the halfback slip screen goes to. Um, I'm going to use the example Gun Devils Weak for this video. So if you want to just throw this play quickly into a custom, just use this Gun Devils Weak halfback, halfback slip screen. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. What you're going to want is your fastest receiver on the outside to the left, or whatever side you're running to. So if you're using the Seahawks, you're going to want to put Percy Harvin out there, etc. Um, and the basic concept is this. Um, Goodwin, the X receiver, is going to be your screen target. So you're going to want to hot route him to a smoke screen, which is done by up, receiver button, and then right trigger, or R2 if you're on PS3. And then, um, ideally, you're going to want this receiver to be off the line of scrimmage to make the blocking better for him. So in doubles week, what I do is I move the slot receiver, I motion him left, which essentially just puts him up to the line and pulls Goodwin off. So now you've got a more ideal um, look to your screen. Be careful about using this motion if you use this play a lot, because it will tip your opponent off that you're running the screen to that side. So... Um, the adjustments I make, I put Graham on a streak, and I also put the running back on a streak. What this does is it gives you two extra blockers downfield for once that you actually hit that screen ap after it develops. Also, it gives you the option to hit Y on an inside streak if the middle of the field is open right away. And it also lets you hit Spiller out of the backfield um, right away if you get heavily blitzed, and it's like a zone blitz or something. Um, you could put the running back on an option, but I would actually advise not doing that because against man coverage, that option route is going to end up running towards the side of the screen and it's going to bring an unwanted defender over there. So, um, the reason this play is so good when designed this way is because even if it's in man coverage, the cornerback who's supposed to be covering Goodwin, the outside receiver, um, is going to get blocked by the lineman pulling out and then you just have open field in front of the receiver. Um, Make sure, please, that you go in practice mode and you get the timing down on this. Because if you mistime the throw, um, you might actually end up just throwing it straight to the cornerback for a pick. So make sure you work on the timing to make sure that the blockers, um, you're throwing it right when the blockers are in position to block that defender. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. Um, this is zone. So as you can just see, I had just have open field with blockers everywhere. Um, easy 18 yards, right? Um, plus it's a concept that um, I have to assume because <laughs> uh, I have to assume most people won't expect this the first time you run this. This is almost like a free play. Um, again, that was cover two and the blockers were a little slow getting out there so it didn't work as well. As with anything else in Madden, nothing is 100% effective, but this play is pretty close. Um, this looks like man. It is not, it is zone, so I'm just going to hit this with the blockers out there. And another easy 20 yards. Um, run this a couple more times. Again, you're going to want the motions, your receiver comes off the line. 
And then here's man. I'll show you what the blockers do. So that cornerback just gets leveled. Um, and I would have had a touchdown if I didn't get that cheap animation in my um, receiver slowed down. Um, as you can review, if you want to go back and watch that, um, I had an open field at the touchdown with about four blockers in front of me <laughs> on that play. So um, that was a pretty good one. Again, just open field with blockers everywhere. This is a play I like to run. I run it like one to three times over the course of a, game, a money game. But it's also my go-to play if I need like 50 yards and there's five seconds before the half ends. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes you can get a cheap touchdown right before half. And we all know as Madden players I can really change the course of a game. Um, so I'll show you one more time. Here's man coverage. Um, just make sure you get the timing down. Uh, the, the cornerback who was supposed to be covering him just got destroyed again, and I ended up with 24 yards. One more thing I want to show you in this video. You can also run this out of a formation where you can motion the halfback out. So if you've watched my free full offensive ebook of the Minnesota playbook, I go over shotgun trips tight end pretty extensively in that video. So I'm just going to use shotgun trips tight end as an example for this. Um, so we'll go with halfback slip screen. What you can do is you have those um, three receivers on the left as well as the tight end that you can hot route whatever, but you can also create a screen to the far outside on the right. And you do this by motioning spiller all the way out, and then you hot route them to a smoke screen like you would um, in the previous play. As you can see, the way this works out is spiller is off the line like how you want, and then you also you probably want to keep that out route on the left, but here's man coverage. As you can see, you get the blocker out there. Um, not as effective in that example. I'll try it. I hate when the computer runs goal line defense. Does anyone else hate that? Just a waste of an example. Um, but again, you're going to want to motion out. So now you got an empty backfield, and oftentimes when you create an empty backfield out of a formation that's not empty, your opponent really doesn't know what's about to happen unless you've been doing it consistently. So again, you just want to hit this like a smoke screen, and then you're off to the races. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I'm glad I covered everything. Um, let me know what you guys think of this tip. If you want more things like this, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, and thanks again for watching, guys. Later.